Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only Thrifty Gamer 83 here. I'm bringing you my review of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on the original Xbox. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is deeply story driven. It has the morality infrastructure of how you can become a Sith or a Jedi. Most likely, I like playing as a Jedi. And really, something about Knights of the Old Republic, just the musical score, it keeps me coming back. It transports me back to when I was a teenager. It transports me back to when I was seven or eight and renting it on VHS to watch it with my older brother over the weekends. Really, Star Wars... Oh, man, I just love being able to play out the dream of playing a Jedi or a Sith. Just everything about Knights of the Old Republic is just so beautiful. And really, you couldn't ask for more as a Star Wars fan. I love this game. I honestly... Rate it as one of the greatest games in my collection of all time. As a matter of fact, you know how people say, well, what would you want on a deserted island? Well, what would you want if you were locked into, just say, the end of the world and all you had was one game and one console to play? It would, for me, be Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. For a book, I'd have to choose the Bible, but aside from that, I just love Knights of the Old Republic. The action, the adventure, the intrigue. Just everything about it. You finally get to live out your dreams. You can be good. You can be evil. You can stay in between. You can stick to blasters over lightsabers. You can stick to lightsabers over almost any other weapon. And that's what makes Knights of the Old Republic... Just one of those games that's just the icing on the cake of one of the greatest games of all time. You get a deep weapon system. You get a great customization system, which you can use to modify existing weapons. You can modify your lightsaber. You can modify your blaster pistols. You can modify armor. One of the things I... I love to do personally is I love to take an armor slot and just add auto regeneration to it because you know you're always going to need regeneration in the armor and that's what is so great about Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic it is just a great role-playing game it is just a great story driven game it takes a little bit of time to get used to the menus it takes a little bit of time to get used to the controls it takes a little bit of time to get used to the old composite output when we've had high definition around and really still playing Knights of the Old Republic to this day I don't see anything negative about it I am just transported back to when I was a kid back to when my older brother was still alive and we used to watch this matter of fact when he got an Xbox he actually got Knights of the Old Republic and we stayed up two straight days just you know playing it just like Resident Evil 2 that's how deep something like Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is for me. It's one of those games which is just ingrained in my psyche. It may not look visually impressive today, but I tell you what, if you judge this book based on its cover, then you're just making a mistake. This game, I must admit, I found it for a dollar at a goodwill by the pound and I didn't regret picking it up I just love the cinematics I love the action I love how you can dictate and command it just it reminds me a little bit 
of Secret of Mana in that sense. It's action role playing, but you can take time to issue a command. To issue for later on, you get force powers, you get fragmentation grenades to start out with, and they really help you polish the floor. And again, Knights of the Old Republic, I keep saying this again and again, it just takes me back. It takes me back to watching the original Star Wars with Mark Hamill. It takes me back to A New Hope. The Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. Oh man, don't I love those movies. I've actually got... Oh, up till The Force Awakens. In my DVD collection of Star Wars memorabilia. And I was just so... Happy. To find Knights of the Old Republic for a dollar. Complete in box with a manual. A dollar. Really, really excited to find it. And I also got Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow, which I'll also be reviewing sometime soon. But for right now, just, I, I find myself lost in Knights of the Old Republic. I just, it's a top tier game. It's one of those games you should have in your collection, be it PC, be it console, if you have backwards compatibility for the Xbox 360, or if you even, or if you own the original Xbox, Knights of the Old Republic should be on the list of the games you play before you die. That's how good Knights of the Old Republic is to me. It does take a little bit of time, like I said before, to get used to the controls and to really get used to the menus. So, that's where it sits. There's nothing else I could say that would be negative because I'm going to show a little bit of bias here, but just that time taken back. Just that time wondering, hey, I want to build my own Jedi, but you know what? It doesn't have to be by Dungeons and Dragons rules. It doesn't have to include a game master. It just includes a video game, a video representation of being a Jedi Knight or a Sith Lord or a Sith Master or whatever you want to be in the game. All right, folks, rant, rave, love, hate. You know what? It took me a while to find the right words just to voice my appreciation for a game like Knights of the Old Republic. And you know what? I just, I still find words that are lacking to describe just how great this game is. Have a good one.